Today I'm gonna show you how to remove the timing belt here. First you set up this pulley thing and then get it up. First actually you remove this nut under here because otherwise you're not gonna get the flywheel loose. So I'm gonna do that. This is the puller set I use, it comes with different bolts, I have just taken these bolts out of a Volvo Penta engine, so now undo this bolt and it comes right up. Now undo all these 10 millimeter bolts and get the coils off. So what you're gonna do now is you need to line up um, the marks. Uh, here is cylinder one, two, <clears throat> and there's a mark here for the crankshaft. So you're just gonna turn it till it's at top the center of one, which is the point is here, and the little mark is there, so like that. Now you see it lines also up there. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is the fast way, you can also do the slow way, is to remove here. It's better to do it that way, but I always do it this way. So I just get this belt up and take it off and put a new one on. Dry it up and it will come off. Like that. Make sure you don't turn this because then you're gonna be out of time. Here I have my new belt. I bought it on part number of course. But what you want to do is check if they all line up. I mean the part number is the same right here. So they will line up. If you're not sure, just count the teeth here. So I'm gonna put a new one on. What you always do is put them on here first. Put it tight, put it as much as you can here, and then just turn it, and it's on. Now you need to make sure it's in time. So, okay. so put it on cylinder one again here, it's perfectly in the center. There, it's also perfectly in the center. So that's how you, what you do now is just put the coils back on the place where they came from and you're basically done. And tighten them down or to door specification. Now just put your flywheel back up. I'm not gonna do that because I have to do more things on this engine. So yeah, that's basically about it.